Bill wants to buy a five-year-old model ABC car. We'll assume he's only interested in this exact model and age. In his city, there are 20 such cars for sale. The problem is this, they are not all alike. Some of the cars have several frequently hidden problems and can become a headache for the new owners, cars usually referred to as lemons. Other owners have been luckier or more careful when it comes to maintaining their vehicles, perhaps both, and as such, their cars are very good. Unfortunately for Bill, each seller knows how good or bad his car is because he's had it for enough time to figure this out. Bill, however, doesn't, and this is a case of information asymmetry, a type of imperfect information which leads to quote-unquote market failures as some economists call them. We'll say a fair price for a lemon is $5,000 and a fair price for a very good car is $10,000. Bill doesn't want to pay 10,000 bucks because he has to factor in the risk of the car turning out to be a lemon, so he will try to go as close to 5,000 as possible. Lemon sellers are happy enough with the state of affairs, whereas those who own very good cars are not, and will be tempted to leave the market and simply keep their vehicles. Such scenarios have been described in George Akerlof's famous The Market for Lemons 1970 paper, with him actually receiving a Nobel Prize for his information asymmetry-related research. However, do keep in mind that not everyone agrees with this perspective and especially the proposed regulation to fix things, with let's say libertarians being against the market intervention in such cases, stating that entrepreneurs can step in and find solutions, for example specialized marketplaces, auto buyer consultants, and so on.